Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be ascending Cal to 6 star. I have been debating it. I'm going to be honest, I have been debating it for the last couple of days. Just thinking on it. Um, and it's mainly because I don't actually have a weapon that's useful for him. I, I think he's okay as a 6 star. Uh, obviously his stats are heavily boosted. He looks pretty decent as a 6 star as well. But you can sort of see here the sort of stats he's got. He's got massive HP and massive damage. I'm not really a fan of his super low defense, but that can be upped, of course, with a weapon. Um, it won't be too bad after getting like a 30% boost. Um, it will be up to, you know, the 1500s. And the difference between 1500s and 2k isn't actually that big a difference. Um, the HP is huge, though. He is, he is a little bit slow in 76 in terms of his longevity. I do like the fact that, of course, he's got Guardian 2. He's going to lose the AP down weapon. It would have been amazing if he still had an AP down weapon. Um, but the active taunt is actually pretty useful. I'll probably max his taunt skill out straight away. Just because I have actually replaced my Ezekiel on my attack team, which is going to be a Guardian 2. And I keep Wyatt in my attack team currently for that taunt. Just for any, at any point I need to, I can just hit that taunt and taunt someone for two turns so if i can have cal doing that instead and i've got guardian too i think that'll probably be more useful i just need to actually make a decent weapon for him i haven't got anything that's like superior i haven't got anything that's crit and specialist like i haven't had the need to actually craft one of those before the, the weapon i had on cal before was pretty decent it was just a huge bonus on attack it had the ap down automatically on it it had some crit on it um and that was pretty decent on defense. You know, you could get a second turn rush with a huge lead, but I just don't have the weapon. And that's why I've been sort of debating not doing it. But my, my thoughts are I'm going to eventually do it anyway. I'm going to eventually do it anyway. So I might as well get it done and get him leveled up and get him into position and then get the weapon sorted. And that's basically what I did with Maggie. I was waiting um, for the weapon for quite a long time and I managed to get the weapon literally two days before getting Maggie. So that was kind of fortunate. Um, I've got Rick. I've got him to six star. And also, haven't got the weapon that I want for him, but I know how good Rick is. And I guess it's going to be the same sort of situation here where I'm, I'm going to know how good this is, guy is anyway. Um, I'm mainly not going to go for like an AP weapon. Um, it's going to be pretty much like the absolute defense weapon that I have for Ezekiel right now, which is ab absolute defense, some HP, but I might put def defense on it for this guy because it's just so low. And also some, uh, some crit. Um, so I'm going to send him. Um, I'm fairly, I'm fairly excited. I'm fairly excited. It'll be nice to actually reduce my roster size again, get rid of some bennies. But also, I'm going to be getting rid of those trainers, those annoying trainers, the two, the two star trainers that are um, trait specific um, active skill increases. And I've got a couple of the ones for um, for strong characters. Um, I think that might be it for my Benedicts. Actually, I might be running. I might be running low. I might have to actually use characters. I'm not 100% certain. I think I do. I think I do. But I have got quite a few dupes. Um, for instance, Marcus. Yeah, he's a dupe. I've got Sophia. Sacrifice you. I've got a, got a few Marcus. I've got two down here, so I'll get rid of one. So we're going to get rid of my first actual characters for ascending. I've been using Benedicts all the time beforehand, but I'm not too bothered. Um, so we're going to get rid of... Oh no, I've got three Sophia's here. I could have just used two. Um, but I'll use a Marcus because I, I just want to. Um, so I'm pretty happy. Um, he's going to require a certain weapon, like I say. It's going to be have to be quite specific. Um, something, to, something to aim for with the, my builds. I haven't really had to think about too much in, my, in terms of my weapon build. So it's not too bad. I'm not too upset. I'll probably try and put it on a Lucille. So it'll just look sick, if I'm honest. <laughs> so here we go, we're going to send, it's going to be 6 star um, Cal and like I say, he will potentially go on my my attack team kaboom kaboom so here's a 6 star, lovely jubbly and you see this base stats, from what I understand his defense actually goes down, I, 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 this defense is just so low I mean, it is still just so low, uh, he's going to need it's going to need boosting for sure, That's that, he's going to need uh, that on his weapon just because it's so low um, but basically with my attack team um, I currently use this guy and his his active is taunt and that's kind of one of the reasons why I like using him I'm going to maybe miss the damage but I think that um, Wyatt, uh, sorry that uh, Cal's damage is the same 
in terms of its 300% to two enemies. And he has actually a really high damage stat, much higher than, than Wyatt does. So potentially he could do a bit more damage. Let me just check my roster for, uh, for Cal. And there he is. Um, it is, once it's maxed out, it's 300. I think it gets a 50% bonus. There we go, 50% damage. Um, so it does do two two attacks and it and it does a taunt for two turns. So that's, oh, for sorry, for one turn. Maybe it does an extra turn. Yeah, it does, it does it for two turns. So that's actually pretty useful as well. Um, I probably will try and hit that rush to the max as well. Um, but I'm not as bothered about the rush as I am about the active. I need the active to go off quite a lot. Um, because he's going to be mainly used on attack, and it's going to mainly be used to control certain characters, especially high priority char characters like revives and stuff like maybe shields. Um, but I'm pretty happy, I guess. I just need to get that weapon sorted. I've got to get that weapon sorted. So let's have a little look at my current weapons. And basically, I'm going to go sort of like this is for my Ezekiel for raids, so that he isn't targeted. I might go for AP down um, rather than stun on attack. We'll see. We'll see if I can get something nice um but it'll be it'll be a bit more like maybe like this but instead of hp it'll be crit that'll be the idea um so yeah i'm fairly happy i won this guy in a level up tournament right at the end of the five star era um and when he was uh, announced in the list i was looking forward to him i mean i still think he's good i've just got a lot of six stars now so i'm not so like hyped about it um but i am gonna have to work reasonably hard to actually get my, my hands on a decent weapon it might take me it might take me ages so we'll see how well that goes um if you were lucky enough to get him previously or if you have of course uh, done some pulls on the wheel to get him uh, do tell me what you guys think what you're going to do with yours give me some ideas influence my my path on carl please do um but that's the end of this video guys thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving keep on surviving